So yes guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. In today's video, the big talking topic is going to be automatics or manuals, even though this technically can be a manual, but I know, hey, there's no clutch pedal, calm down. We'll get onto that. But before we go any further, I've got to say a big shout out to Chiztech, who is today's sponsor of the video. And Chiztech, in fact, in my last video, I'll make sure I leave a link over here, had in fact modified my stock M140 slash M240 exhaust system. So that's two reses and a back box and it sounds absolutely insane. It is paid of a sports cat, but the sounds that it gives you are insane. So make sure you check out that video. And again, if you're after any exhaust mod or any sort of fabrication, whether that's boost pipes, whether that's cages, make sure you hit the guy up. I'm gonna leave his uh, Instagram and his website in the link below in the description. So manual cars. Sure, they're great, they're engaging and they're, they, they're amazing, especially in hot hatches and we'll touch on to the brake horsepower, but engaging, just that rewarding feeling. I think a lot of people use the word, I, I always drop a uh, like a poll or a question and answer um, post on my Instagram, on Tim Williams HD, before one of these drive cars and the comments were amazing. Uh, make sure you always drop a comment because hopefully I can, it'll be a talking topic. Those of you that haven't got a reply, there were tons, so apologies for that, but I always appreciate all of the engagement that I get um, yeah manuals engaging that rewarding feeling when you nail it right and if you haven't got that auto blip downshift and upshift it's great that if you can heel and toe loads of those fun features and that's what really makes these manual cars what they are and it's also the fact that you know you're in that gear you know the computer's not going to guess for you or anything like that when you're in second you're in second it's not going to upshift for you none of that so yeah in terms of that they're great now the automatics and this is obviously an automatic whether that's a dsg a z off a z off a zf or even the porsche pdk they're amazing and a lot of people mentioned a lot of people mentioned that day to day they do the job and for me they, it definitely does like my other car is, is an automatic this is an automatic and when I want to I can go manually through the, through, through the gears I don't know what happened with my tongue today one thing to note as well is on this specific um, gearbox the transmission rather it doesn't upshift for you and I know there are a few and there's a few brands that I have driven recently even though it's in manual it still will shift for you so it's not truly in manual mode oh it's very slippery through here but this diff is gripping and the 255s gripping all day you've also got to think with it being an auto for example on the zf8 anyway when you are doing 70 mile an hour on the motorway you're in eighth gear and your rpms depending on i don't know your car it should all be the same is around one and a half or 1 1.8 hundred so 1800 k rpm that's great so it's still below the two, which is great because you kind of keep the car in a efficient, I'm trying to say an, an efficient, uh, <laughs> an efficient mode as possible. If this was a manual, you don't have that. Most of them, and think, in fact all of them, as far as I know anyway, go up to six gears, some up to five, but six gears still isn't going to give you a good economic drive in comparison to an auto because with the auto you've got the eighth gear and it's just a lot more quiet there's not as much drone and it allows you to make more mpg again simply by having an auto so if you're looking at efficiency the point definitely would go to an auto some negatives of the auto though sometimes i'm not sure if it's this on the zf i haven't noticed it but on the dct and older and some older boxes they are quite lurchy when they are cold that is a huge huge point so when you're going through the gears it's very like uh, 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 very kangaroo and i know on the m2 in fact the gear shifts aren't always as smooth as you want them to be with a manual you kind of dictate how smooth your shifts are because you have that ultimate control but on this it's it's not always the best on this it's great i'm not gonna lie to you on this is great but on another bmw dct dct car it's not going to always be the best something else to notice as well is the insurance on an auto and a manual is quite a bit sometimes it's at least three four hundred pound difference if this m240 was in manual i'd be paying three four hundred pound less a year than i am now and i don't know why that is i don't know whether the auto is probably more expensive to replace maybe i'm not sure but 
that is definitely a reason why people probably would want to do a manual because not only is it more engagement with inverted commas you're also going to be saving some pennies when it comes to insurance most turbocharged cars nowadays respond very well to a stage one stage one meaning they plug something in and it gives you about 30 40 50 brake horsepower in this case about 60 brake horsepower once you do that on an automatic box you're not going to have any issues because the manufacturers tend to down tune the engines anyway to then make sure that this car has its own bracket on a manual now and this is just me just from what i know from what i've experienced you do that on a manual you will come into issues with the gearbox in terms of the clutch slipping and that's when you go to change the gear and it just revs up or you go into a gear and sometimes it won't even engage that could be an issue so i don't know when you're looking at power, and I know people are going to probably like try and murder me for this, I think you definitely need an automatic. And that's not to say on all cars, because again, you could have a Porsche which has around 400, I don't know, but the GT4 I drove, my good friend Westy's GT4, that could have probably another 50, 60 brake. And I'm quite sure that a manual could still be handed on that car. But for your day-to-day -day, day -day cars and for quite a few BMWs, I want to say, you definitely would rather have that in a automatic back in the day the bmws weren't as powerful so you could probably get away with it as a manual but um nowadays if i think if you are tuning a car and it's anything north for 400 brake my opinion it's got to be an auto if you want to be polite we'll say 430 brake just to give you an extra 30 because like i said the way that power delivery is going to come in and if you get days like this where it goes from dry to wet and you are like me driving in dsc off just because you prefer rolling through the roads and not having any of the brakes intervene and all of that stuff for me it's all about the auto two hands on the wheel not coming in here doing that not coming here doing that doing that and again this is kind of a sequential bang 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 it feels great but it's not always like that because for example on track recently um i tried to downshift and from what i knew i was in seventh sixth gear or seventh gear it's probably sixth gear off a straight and i've flipped it at least three times for me to go down into third six five four wait wait downshift five four three rather quick maths and when i emptied the turn emptied when i cleared the turn ready to empty the corner and leave it with speed put my foot down and i was in fourth gear so something that these cars are built in with is something called downshift protection which means if the car thinks that hey if you downshift we're going to be at 8000 rpm and the car only goes up to 7 6.8 it's going to stop you from doing that which again it doesn't give you that true manual feeling but at the same time it's a lot quicker and when you do nail it you know it's in third gear something i have noticed as well sometimes is you can jump in different different manual cars and no one can turn around and say they've never put the car in the wrong gear if i was doing that on a race track and i was in third and i wanted to go straight down into second for some reason and i went bang bang how do i know i'm not going into fourth or sometimes you go from fifth and you want to slam it from fifth into third quickly not that you should but some people do and i, I have i'm guilty of doing that you do that and then sometimes it goes into first and you're like kryptonite i nearly broke this car sugar like shiver my timbers so it is all about personal preference but at the same time i just believe certain transmissions are suited to certain what's the word here certain i don't know certain vehicles and i was talking to my good friend from day one faisal and we were saying and we said you know what sure those cars those btcc cars formula one cars and all the race cars are all like automatic which means that fast cars should have an automatic however he made this valid point this is not a btcc car yet anyway and if it was probably could drive it with a manual but for times you definitely want to have an automatic no matter what anyone says you definitely want to have an automatic for times but yeah it's a very very proven fact that the fast cars all have automatic gearbox but these cars are not made to be driven the same as those cars on the road anyway which is where 70 percent of people probably will be driving their car so my pick and let's be very honest if this was if i was after a weekend toy i would and i had a decent amount of money to play with i would love to choose something that i ain't gonna mod I would definitely choose a manual let's just be straight out of that because yes it's the rewarding feeling it's the fun feeling of nailing that shift 100% a manual where I haven't got an endless pot of money and I want something that can do both it's an auto 
So if I had to pick right now what I need, it's an automatic. It's definitely an automatic. Like I said, ease of use. Like I said, slap it in now. We're in drive, just cruising along. When I get to some more open roads and I want to fully let the car rev out and, and have ultimate control on the car with two hands, flip the paddle, bang. Straight away, we're in manual mode. And that's true manual. It doesn't shift for me. It will shift down if I come to a stop, but it's never ever going to shift up for me. So it will bang itself against the limiter. Not that I recommend that. Let me know your thoughts on manual or automatic and again please please state why and what car you would have that car in okay so guys i'm going to end the video here i'm actually shout i've just come back from a shambrook meet big shout out to motec for that because it was an amazing meet and again the wheels direct from motec make sure you hit them up if you want to be running fatter rubber on your car with a lighter bowler flc wheel so yes guys as always if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will see you in the next one god bless